Capricorn, honey, honey bunches of oats. What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red's table. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October. Yes, my dear. I told you in fall, we're going to have it all. And fall is here. It is here, my dear. Are you ready to collect, baby? You ready to collect them checks? I already know you. Listen, I already know how my Capricorns go. I already know how my Cappies go. So listen, thank you guys for clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to everyone who's been booking personal and private readings. If you want to book a personal and private reading with me, only thing you got to do is click that about tab. My booking page is there. Um, if you want to, you can book directly through me. Just send me a message on Instagram. Or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com if you have any questions or concerns. Um, want to give a good shout out to everyone who has been supporting um, the page. Big, big shout out to all of my loves. We have some new decks. Thanks to you guys' support. We have the, what is this? The unicorn, the crystal unicorn tarot. These, oop, Lord, oop, there go Capricorn right on the back. <laughs> Let me get this a good shuffle for good measure. We ain't about to start off like that in the name of Jesus. I know that, you know, that represents the Capricorn, but Lord Jesus, we're not starting off like that, Father God. Lord, help me. All right, now listen. <laughs> listen to me, Tonita. Listen to me, girl. Okay, we also have the, um, what is this? The Moonology deck that we recently got as well um you guys won't see this deck this time unless i see some urgent shit popping out here we got the the um santa morte the tarot deck as well as the oracle deck and y'all already know i am a scorpio so you know this is right up my alley <laughs> this whole deck is all about um transitions like death and rebirth Helping us figure out what we need to do in this transitional stage where we're at, what we need to release and let go and all of this good stuff. So you guys will see that deck roll out in the mid month of October. So I know y'all are going to look forward to that. Um, want to give a big shout out again to everyone that's been supporting. Um, every little bit of support helps. And as you see, like I'm constantly growing and we're, 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 bringing in newness into the page i like to keep the flavor a little different on here every month give y'all some different colors a new cut a new color okay girl so anyway thank you guys again for all of the support if you guys feel free if you want to support number one the best way to support is by clicking that like button if the information that i'm giving you guys here if it's helping you guys through your transition to let go and to bring in y'all blessings and you know get your footing prepared for what's coming ahead of course always click that like button and if you do want to support um my amazon wish list my PayPal link, and then I just included a Cash App link because I believe Cash App is a little... You guys have been using the Cash App link, so y'all been asking me to put a Cash App up there instead of PayPal. So that link is... All of those links are in the About tab. And again, if you guys want to contact me or just want to, you know, see what's going on with me on Instagram, go on over to the About tab on my YouTube page and, like, all of my contact information is there. And again, thank you guys so much for all the like, shares, and subscribe, and all the love and like that you send scorpion red terror i thank you abundantly so of course as always we're going to get into this energy by saying a quick prayer um so let's get into this father god thank you so much for bringing us here for my capricorns you already know what's going on father god capricorn been kicking some some ass they've been kicking some ass you know what i'm saying like they've been really i you know I am serious when I say I am so proud of how my Capricorns have been overcoming and how they've been growing. Um, I feel like y'all about to do a Libra turnaround because I always bring up my Libra, my Libra gang, because I used to be rocking into their little tail last year in 2018 because they weren't ready to release and let go and move into certain transitions. And then just one day Libra just woke up. And I'm not saying that they don't be having a bumpy ride sometimes, but they know how to quickly get ahead of whatever drama is going on. And, like, I've been seeing that so ever, like, present in the Capricorn readings. And it's just this energy that's surrounding y'all. It's like, 
Y'all are not playing no games. Y'all are really changing a lot of things. And y'all are, I mean, making the best of your day. Like, I mean, I'm so proud of y'all. So, Father God, I want to say, number one, thank you for the many blessings. Because, you know, sometimes change is not easy. It's not easy, but... We got to look at our own reflection sometime and see what we got to do within that self-work to grow, you know, and to learn from our past mistakes um, and to forgive ourselves for, you know, certain things that we contributed to it. And like you guys have been doing this like flawlessly. OK, flawless victory. Come on, Capricorn. Come on, baby. You already know how we do. So I want to just congratulate y'all. I can only imagine how y'all about to shake y'all foot all up in 2020. And I already told you, 2020 is all about showing me the money. Okay, Cappy? Show me the money. All right? We are reloading. Load up the gap. So, Father God, I just thank you so much for... <laughs> I thank you so much for what 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 they call them little guns that they got now, them little guns, the money guns, they're like brrr, and it'd be like money all over the place. I just see money showers. I see money showers and you know, a whole bunch of blessed flowers coming your way. And um again, I'm proud of you. I'm gonna continue to encourage you. No matter what comes out on the table, I know you're gonna keep it stable. I know you're gonna keep it together because y'all have this determination. That I really think that other people need to look into and just try to pick up on y'all energy to see what y'all been doing because y'all been really, y'all been kicking some ass and making your way, you know, because y'all ain't here to play. Y'all y'all never come here to play. So I'm being guided to just click my little singing bow real quick. We're going to, you know, cleanse the energy real quick and just bring in some blessed vibrations real quick. So... I don't want to hit it too loud, just in case y'all got earphones on. Yes, God. You want to go ahead and ring that bell and call in all of our blessings, Father God, because we need all of them. We need every last bit of it. And we thank you again for our healing. We thank you so much for this prosperous feeling. We thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that have got us to this point. Because, you know, we can't receive the blessings if we ain't learn our lessons. So thank you so much for everything that you have given to us in the past, present, and future. And surely thank you so much for the blessings yet to come. Because one thing we ain't is dumb. So thank you so much for, you know, having our back. And uh, we about to accumulate a full stack. So... <laughs> Give me guidance for my Capricorns and Father God. Thank you so much for never giving up on us. And always, always guiding us in the right way. Sometimes even if we got to hear stuff that we don't want to hear, at least we're, you know, at least we're strong enough to hear it. A lot of people turn away. Capricorns like, no, nah, I need to hear this. Like, I, I've seen that so many times in the comments. And I thank y'all for being strong. Like, y'all got it going on. I love y'all. All right, so let's get into this Capricorn energy. All right, we're going to start off with Moonology energy. Hold on, let me light my candle. More fire, more fire around this bomba clot. All right, I am reloaded. Let's get it. All right, so please give me guidance for my Capricorns for October. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do. Like green eggs and ham, okay? <laughs> Y'all know that green eggs and ham book. Like that boy chased that that guy all over the damn house, all over the place, trying to convince them. Well, do you like green eggs and ham on a boat? Do you like it on a rock? Do you like it with your socks? Or you know what I'm saying? This man is like, no, I don't like no damn green eggs and ham. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Stop asking me, Mo. And then at the end of the book, this man is like, hold on. Green eggs and ham ain't that bad, honey. I don't know what the heck. What type of season? Is that pesto, nigga? Is that, is that pesto? Did you throw some pesto? It's a parmesan up in them eggs. Hold on. Y'all fancy. Okay. Alright. I feel like it might be something that uh maybe y'all wasn't too interested in. 
But y'all might be opening your mind up to like, man, man, it ain't as bad as I thought. Maybe I do like green eggs and ham. Let me find out. Cap okay. Flip it on down like that. Ooh. Full moon in Leo. Don't let your pride get in the way. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's find out what that means. Let me go into my good book. Let me go into the good, good, good book. Let me go into the good book. Let me go into the good, good, good book. All right. So what is that? Full moon in Leo. All right. So let's see. E C. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego? Or is it from your heart? Okay. Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent. But when combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top, honey. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to your dilemma. If you have not been doing as you would have been doing lately, this is time to find balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will will help all of your relationships. Attuned to the moon. Be magnificent without being plain too much. Oop! There's someone around here team too much. Oh, God. It says additional meanings of this card. Self-esteem is good. Vanity is not. Some of y'all say, now look. <laughs> y'all cannot see me or try to be me, baby. <laughs> See, you know, listen, I, I'm not even mad at you. I'm not mad at you because it's like sometimes when you know your worth and you know what you, how you slay, and you know how you slay, you don't care what nobody say, but it's like at the same time, though. <laughs> like it says, good self-esteem is good, but vanity is not. It says everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed. Works of magic. Friendships may be ending now. Oop. Hold on. Oop. Hold on. Someone said, I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy. It hurts. Oh, I'm too sexy for my body. Too sexy for my body. I'm a goddamn hottie. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> It says when the full moon comes into Leo, it could be wonderfully bright. Where people feel more confident to show the world their talents and their assets. He said he was too sexy for this shirt. Are you, listen, are you, are you doing the Mardi Gras? Are you doing the titty wiggle? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you just get a new set? Are these hoes upset? You out here showing the titty wiggle? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. See, now I'm seeing too much. Like, what? Then that can't be. Okay, oh, all right, all right, all right. Excuse me. Excuse me. It says, all right. <laughs> that is the upside to this lunation of this card, no matter when you pull it. However, take note that the Leo full moon combination creates a sort of tension between your needs and the needs of people in your network. Leo full moon is a time to release pride. Okay. Listen. Goddamn Capricorn said, I ain't focused on me, 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 me. Okay. Me, 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 me. Okay. Two. Hmm. Let's see what type of unicorn energy. <laughs> My Capricorn's got smoking around here. Okay. Look. <laughs> I don't blew out my flame. No, blew out my flame. Mm -mm. Someone said you're too hot, Cappy. It's time to blow that flame out because you're a little too full of yourself, honey. Mm -mm. Let me find the eggs. Let me find the eggs. So, give me some guidance. What type of unicorn energy is my Capricorn's going through in October? Let's see. 
Oh, miracles. Shine bright like a diamond. Look, they say, listen, I am a miracle in your life. <laughs> Cappy be arrogant as a motherfucker because y'all got be talking big shit around this motherfucker. Y'all just skipping and dipping through the city looking pretty. You like, listen, I got my new titties, bitch. I'm feeling good. I don't know if y'all went and got some body enhancements or something like that. Y'all done did something to make yourself feel good as hell. You see how she just trolloping all around like, listen, okay, shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay? It says, have faith that your miracles is on the way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Ooh. No, it says, no, surrender the bow. Excuse me. It said, take a bow, bitch. Take a bow. Take a bow, bitch. Come on now. Let me, I got, I'm sorry. We got to go right on into this. We got to go right on into this. And that's probably why that damn devil car was at the bottom. It was like, listen, these hoes is upset because I'm up next. I don't care if I piss anybody off. Like, it's just like y'all are in y'all full throttle. Okay? You got a brand new model, honey. Okay? Now, I'm serious. Someone went and got something done to their body. It's like either that or y'all just went and got a full manicure. You got some new hair. Some new fingernails. Did someone go and get them a new hair unit? <laughs> okay? I don't know what y'all done did. <laughs> but y'all is skipping and dipping. And a lot of people is like this motherfucking arrogant and shit. Like, hold on, who, what? Who the fuck Capricorn think that is? Me, bitch. Me, bitch. Can't you see? Me, bitch. Let me, let me grab you together real quick, okay? The hell? What the hell? You don't see how my miracles and blessings been coming on in? <laughs> Mama got a brand new bag, okay? And Capricorn has just been feeling real good about this stuff. But... A lot of people ain't been taking it the right way, you know? Because certain things, like I said, that you wasn't used to, that you was rejected, you're like, mm, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of feeling kind of frisky today. I think I might want that green egg and ham sandwich, thank you very much. Put extra pesto on my shit, thank you very much, okay? Sprinkle a little parmesan, a little herbs around the side, make it fancy, make it fancy, okay? <laughs> Motherfuckers like, who the fuck Capricorn think they is? Okay? Oh, now you like me. I might. Shit. Okay. Give me guidance. <laughs> Give me guidance about my cocky Capricorn. <laughs> Hold on. Suck my cockiness. Lick my persuasion. Oh. <laughs> what she say? So, so, um, swallow your pride down. Come on. I love it. I love it. I love it when you eat it. <laughs> Look, the fool. I did a goddamn fool. A goddamn monkey doodle daddy ass fool. Capricorn don't give a shit. They out here jumping out. They jumping they so out there. They taking risk. They feeling bliss. Okay. All right. With new diamonds on their wrists. Come on now. You taking risk. You feeling real bliss. And got new diamonds on your wrist. Come on, girl. What you do? Look, look, look. You see how that diamond? You see how that that crystal sitting out there? Cap was like, I'm about to go get that. I'm about to go get all of that. Okay, look a little dangerous. But ain't no fun if ain't a little danger in there. Okay, I ain't no stranger to no danger. Ain't, ain't no stranger danger, bitch. No, honey. I believe in 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 in, in this excursion. Okay. <laughs> what am, why, why am I, why am I, I'm just trying to bang my deck out. I just, I see that right now. I see that right now. Give me, and I just seen that page of swords. Okay. You might be jumping yourself out there pretty surely speaking on your blessings and stuff like that. And just like, listen, I don't know what y'all talking about, but I'm going over here. <laughs> and it's like. Yeah, like people might be looking at y'all like this person all acting all brand new, all acting all stuck up, acting all this, this and that. I bet you they ain't even gonna make it over there. Ten of Wands, she in the moon in reverse. Hmm. 
So what is this telling me right here? You guys are carrying a big load. A big load. And with this food card, it's just like, you know, regardless of what people might be saying about you, you're still stepping out there. You stepping out there with your best foot. People are talking shit about you. Because they're like, oh, Capricorn think that they're going to make it all the way to where they're going with all them sticks. I am. I am. You understand? I am. And Capricorn, listen, if you honestly think for you, like, I, like, Capricorn is saying, I already took this risk and jumped myself out there. If I made it all this way thus far, being a star bitch, I'm not going to let y'all come. Listen, it, these are people trying to scare Capricorn and, and, and feed their head with tomfoolery to, like, Get them down up off of their high horse to try to make them feel like, that, that, like this is too much for you. You need help. Like you can't do this by yourself. You can't do this on your own. Because Capricorn is trying to take a risk right now on their own. They don't really want anybody in on this deal. Because it's like when they, when they make it, it, it doesn't matter how much of a burden how tired they are they've made it this far and you see how close they are to their you know to where their destination is it's like man i only got a few more steps to go like i'm tired of this shit and it is hard me doing this by myself but at the end of the day if i allow people to fill my head up you know this is people trying to scare them and Make their fears your reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's why I kept pumping off that suck my cockiness, lick my persuasion. Okay? Please swallow your words and, and something about your pride down. I don't know what the hell Rihanna said, but whatever. Listen, and then Capricorn said, I love it, I love it, I love it when you eat it. They are saying, like, I love it when you gonna eat your words. Like, keep sleeping on me. Keep sleeping on me. These people are trying to turn their nightmares into your reality by trying to fill your head up with worries. You know? And I just, I, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like this is, this is not Capricorn's energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone else's energy because they are feeling some type of way about the fact that Capricorn jumped out there like a fool. Like, they really believe in themselves that much. They really are that cocky. And they feel like they don't need anybody. And they're about to make it to this destination without anyone's input, anyone's help. And this is what people are dreading. Because it's like, I already deal with Capricorn's goddamn... <laughs> <gasps> boasty ass enough last thing I need is for this motherfucker to make it all the way over here cause then I'm never going to hear the end of it you understand and I feel like Capricorn is might be cutting people out of the equation cause they don't want no one to take credit for the hard work that they've achieved on their own and that moon in reverse that's not Capricorn Y'all could be dealing with a water sign. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could most definitely be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer who don't like the answers that they are receiving. Do you understand what I'm saying? They are not believing that these miracles is coming to you. Like, and it's and it's the fact that like these miracles are shining through. Like y'all are like, and it is, I don't even think that y'all are being. Cocky, I just feel like you guys are confident. You guys are self-assured. You guys are not scared to take a risk. These motherfuckers scared to take a risk. It's like Capricorn is doing some shit that y'all are scared to do. So don't try to motherfucking feed me your... Look, oh my God. And then you see how that Wheel of Fortune is right there? Come on, let me receive it. Let me receive it. And then the Two of Cups. Come on now. And what is this? The three of pentacles in the reverse. I told you Capricorn do not want to fuck. Look, and then the ace of swords. The swords of truth. I told you Capricorn knows what's going on. 
Let not be distracted. Please do not try to push your fears off on me and try to make that shit my reality. You need to eat your words and swallow your pride down. Okay? Suck my cockiness, lick my persuasion. <laughs> Please swallow your words. <laughs> swallow your pride down. Like these people. Uh-uh. Capricorn is saying, I love it when you eat it. I love it when you about to eat all your motherfucking words. Because y'all thought I wasn't going to make it. Y'all thought I wasn't going to make it. And y'all see these miracles skipping on through my life. And motherfuckers is big pussy hole ass mad. Big pussy hole ass man. And you know how a low vibrational ass motherfucking water sign can be. They're real nervous. They can be very um, self-conscious uh, of their self. And especially if they feel like they have a lack of, of, of ability to do something. They can try to push their fears off on you and try to make you feel like, oh, because they're not bold enough to do it, that you can't do it. And even, no, oh, nigga, that's just you. That's just you. You don't know who the fuck I am. I'm fucking Capricorn. I don't, I don't, I don't get into all that low vibrational emotional shit. Now, if I wanted to do some low vibrational motherfucking shit, nigga, trust me. Okay? Seeing is believing. I ain't even got to tell you. Now, while I'm on my high horse and I'm doing some good shit in my life, see, people just don't like to see people change and start to come up when they change their vibration when they metamorph and they ain't doing the old shit that they used to be doing and getting them in trouble like everything is falling into your lap okay you gain a couple of stacks you know <laughs> baby that will of fortune to turn around like shit in your life capricorn like i told you capricorn be the testimony in 2019 for everybody, like I said, Libra was it last year. This is your motherfucking year. This is your year with no fear. Do you understand? Zero fucks about what anybody think. You are going forth towards your blessings with zero fucks about what anybody think. You don't give zero fucks about what people think your ability is. Listen. You have not seen how I just crushed all my fucking competitors and I made it this far by myself. Look how close I am. You're bothered. <laughs> These motherfuckers is bothered. They want you to put the shit down. No, honey. This would be a burden to you. Not I, said the cat. Don't do me. Don't do me. I thought you knew me, baby. I thought you knew. Oh, do I make you runzy, baby? <laughs> do I make you horny? <laughs> Marasaka. Look. Two of God that listen, two of cups. Like y'all, listen, do I make you horny, baby? Do I make you ronzy, baby? Oh, yes. I definitely feel, I feel with every inch of my fiber, Capricorn changed the way that they were operating with someone. They jumped out there and they moved. The full card is a movement card. Movement. Movement. By yourself carrying everything on your back. You guys are, your luck has changed and you guys are like manifesting true love, true abundance, true happiness. And you guys most definitely, and I'm talking about on a very high level. Is experiencing love and miracles in your life on a vibration that you couldn't even fathom before. This might be a Capricorn that said, "Man, I don't want no love. I ain't want like I, like this could be someone that you slept on. This could be someone that you slept on in the past while you were entertaining something else and someone else." Or another job that you are no longer working towards anymore. I don't want to work on this. I don't want to work with you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't need no counsel. I don't need no advice. I don't need nothing. Nansford. Nathan. Nathaniel. Do you hear me? What is my... Oh, hold on. It's my fucking phone. Hold on, y'all. My uh, battery about to die. Hold on real quick, you 
unicorn said, I don't need nothing. Nathan, Nansford, Nathaniel, nothing from you. This can honestly be a divorce because I'm really taking this Three of Pentacles card as a divorce. This might be someone that wants you to still work things out with them. Possibly want y'all to go to counseling to see if y'all can like have someone else into the equation to kind of help you guys work through these problems. Capricorn said, I don't got no problems. You got to, like, you might need to get some counsel, like, you know, and this person might want you to go to, I don't want to go to, I don't want to do anything with you. Not a motherfucking thing. And this is that sort of truth. This is that sort of truth. This is that sort of truth. I feel like that this person like Capricorn could be bragging to someone that they left about their success, about their miracles, about the blessings that are coming into their life, um, about the fact that whoever it was that you were sleeping on and that you overlooked for them or for that job or for that business transaction, whatever it was. Because this could most definitely be a work situation, too. You might have just up, chucked, and left and took everything that you brought to a table in this work situation and took a risk. And even though you might have been nervous or scared, y'all pushed past it and y'all did not allow people to fill your head with fucking shit. And everything is turning around in your favor. Now you... Have a connection in regards to work endeavors, love endeavors, your personal endeavors. And it is like a miracle to you. And it's like you just speaking your truth to people and people think that you being cocky and stuff like that. But like I said, I love it when you eat it. I'm going to love it when y'all eat all that bullshit that y'all be talking. I'm going to love it. You can suck my cockiness. <laughs> like that's what this goddamn let me get, get, get yeah, bitch, let me write this shit down. I'm sorry, y'all, because this is this has to be this has to be y'all's title. I'm sorry. Suck my cockiness, young. Oh my gracious, like <laughs> mm -mm. I just heard watch me now. Miss Cleo, watch me now. <laughs> watch me now. Like, these people are mad. And that's a personal problem. Like, I told you, Leo, that Leo energy right there, it's like, don't let your pride get in your way. Maybe I do need to tone it down a little bit, Cappy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're not making too many people happy. But I just, y'all just don't care. Like, it's not, it's not my job to care about other motherfuckers' emotions. Like, that's what Capricorn just told me. Like, they don't care. And people think that you're being evil. Like, y'all are not being evil. Y'all are just being triumphant and y'all are being successful. I'm sorry that y'all are upset and it's bringing you a complete nightmare that everything is going good in my life. And I don't want to continue to work on this shit. And where I should have went in the first place, instead of fucking with you, I'm going there now. And now you're having to eat that reality. Like, I'm sorry. Like, what you want me to do? To, yo, I, didn't I just motherfucker tell y'all that y'all are in love with somebody? Like, the ten of motherfucker hearts, baby. This is a card of, like, this is the marriage card. This is full completion in love, in heart endeavors. This could even mean, like, a success in, like, a home situation. Like, y'all might have just moved and got a house that you love. Like, luxurious, luxurious. Like, a miracle. And listen, do you see this person is, like, moving to a new place, carrying this burden all by themselves because they think that they can make it over there because they about to build a new house from scratch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see them smoky courts? Smoky Quartz is a grounding stone. Smoky Quartz really helps alleviate nightmares. That's what the moon in the reverse. I mean, that's what the moon card means, period. Nightmares, anxiety, stress, feeling insecure. Do you understand? They're carrying their sticks with Smoky Quartz at the tips. Like, 
they protected their self from any type of negative wishes or any type of harms or any type of frustrations anyone could be trying to shoot towards them. They protected their self the whole way. This is grounding stones. Y'all Google something like, look, look, bitch, I got some smoky quartz in my bra, and that's fucked up. <laughs> look, I got black turbulent and smoky quartz in my bra, bitch. Listen to me, baby. You see this? Smoky quartz. Listen. A big ass chunk of smoky quartz is literally sitting right here that was marinating on top of this deck. You better show some respect, bitch. Please show some respect around this motherfucker. Okay, so Capricorn, if these motherfuckers do not like what's going on in your life, if they trying to push negative energies in their own frustrations and their worries, you have did the right thing, little unicorn. You got them smoky courts on the tip <laughs> of every one of them sticks. You about to go and build a house from scratch. How many of y'all have moved and y'all came up financially and y'all about to build from the ground up? And people don't think that you can do it. And people are trying to shit on your blessings. Baby, listen. You about to have you a full cup. But let me go ahead and just clarify this for y'all. So y'all don't think I'm in this motherfucking lunch. And I'm just gassing motherfuckers up. Oh, honey, I don't gas. I pass. I pass the gas. Pass the dochi to the left hand side. Pass the dochi to the left, bitch. Uh-uh. <laughs> listen to me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't gas, bitch. We acting ass, bitch. Okay. The Ten of Hearts represents victory, emotional fulfillment, happiness, enjoyment, amusement, emotional commitment, marriage, compatibility, heat, warm weather, summertime. So, baby, oh, by the summer, you're going to get dumber. Go dumb, 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 dumb. Go, oh, they is not going to be able to take you, baby. They ain't going to be able to mistake you. You can't mistake this blessing that just came in here. What? What? Oh, my gracious. <laughs> Suck my cockiness. Lick my persuasion. Oh. <laughs> look. And look. And look. Did you go and get you a pimp cup? With your, with your, look, at the, look at the Capricorn unicorn. You see him skipping and you see your cup. How you skipping and dipping. Did you go and get it? Implant it in your in your pimp cup. Okay, I can't even with y'all. I can't. These are two totally different decks. These two decks ain't got nothing to do with each other. I just it compliments because they're unicorns. But honey, listen, this is you high stepping. High stepping on them. Listen. <laughs> I cannot take y'all. I cannot mistake y'all for no other. None other. Ooh, the Jack of Diamonds. This is a message. Message. Hold on. Hashtag message. Okay. You riding all the way to victory and success. Pressure creates diamonds. Baby, didn't I tell you that I could do this by myself and that I was and that y'all cannot stop me? Didn't I tell y'all y'all went and got some new hair? You see that long, pretty hair on that unicorn? They cannot take you. They cannot mistake you. K, 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 K. I think they want to put their name on it. Ooh, I think they like this. It's so exciting. Listen. <laughs> the Jack of Diamonds is a young person of average sex, most often a male. Intelligent, even though there's a female on here, though. Energetic, dynamic, a student, a relative by marriage sometimes. And this could be the start of a financial venture. This is a written message, a message about financial, a financial statement, a check, a receipt, a money transfer, a message from your spiritual guides, a place of higher learning. Okay, did you guys go to school? Did you just like, what, re-enroll in college? Like, you got, listen... You guys might be going to take some classes or you just might be being schooled right now by your spiritual God. I told y'all miracles are taking place. Abundance is taking place in the face of adversity. See, people be thinking a person can't change. And now they're having to eat their words. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they're taking your blessings and you just being proud of yourself as cockiness. But you know what? Your failure to plan and prioritize is, 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 
Your failure to plan and prioritize your life does not cause an urgency on my part, okay? So, things ain't work out, babe. It ain't work out. Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not about to keep going back through this stage with you, babes. Nigga, the six of fucking hearts. I'm trying to tell you, this is a man. This is a man with a master plan. And you see that? You see that wheel? You see how that motherfucker turning around, turning around, turning around. Everything has turned in their favor. And this male's favor, everything that they like, everything that they love, is literally coming down from above. I'm trying to tell y'all, this is God. This is your spirit, guys, rewarding you for a job well done. It's like, and people, they are just really, really upset, Capricorn. They are upset because they feel like you don't deserve it, but you do. Like, you can't tell me what I deserve. God's been watching my transition this whole time. Whole time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me show y'all the six of hearts real quick. The six of hearts represents a love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry. Like I told y'all, y'all galloping all over the place, feeling real good about your blessings. And I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all, something that in the past y'all overlooked. Because y'all kept saying, I don't like green eggs and ham. I don't like you like that. I don't like you like that. Something really changed y'all. And y'all looking at things a different way. Y'all looking at life a different way. Like, life has changed you. Where you are able to accept abundance, like, on a different level. This is an emotional connection. Past life or soul connection. Masculine energy. A male lover. Okay? A bachelor. An unmarried man. Anything genuinely associated with the male gender, such as a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. New hair. New fingernail. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, if this, if this is not... A female Capricorn energy, which I am seeing a female right here. But this is whole ass male energy as well. Like, this is screaming male dominance. This is a Capricorn that has really changed their life around and just trying to do things the right way. Because in the past, they caused a lot of trouble. And they tired of being in trouble. They tired of people looking at them a certain way. They made a conscious decision to change. And they're being rewarded for it. And being awarded for it. Like I said, this is marriage. Like, this is someone that is. And I'm telling you the two of cups. Like, y'all met a soulmate. This is not even someone that y'all know. And that might be this jack of diamonds right here. This might be this, like, communication from somebody. Because remember, this means a communication, a letter, a written letter, a correspondence. Not only is your money on the way up. But this one is riding through very confidently into your life. Bringing a certain level of value where you are staying on that high vibration. And I feel like even though that you overlooked this person in the past. And you might have made an ass of yourself. But she like, oh, hmm. So now you interested. Motherfucker Capricorn like, yeah. I, I had to grow up. You know, I feel like Capricorn was dealing with people and with situations that would de like they would devaluing their self. Like they used to be attracted to bullshit. They really found someone with a high taste quality. Like their palate has changed. Their palate has changed. And this person has remained interested like the whole time. They just had to they just been sitting back watching Capricorn make a fool of themselves, just doing dumb ass shit or whatever. And they just sat there and waited for that message to come. And the table is turning. And now they're really sitting down courting each other. And I'm trying to tell you, this is someone in the past that y'all overlooked. This is someone in the past that y'all overlooked. Give me guidance. Woo, spread your wings. Come on, Capricorn.
Oh, Lord Jesus. It says, Archangel Ariel says, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. Y'all, y'all, I'm getting chills. I cannot fuck with y'all. I got to get out of here because y'all are just doing me too much. Y'all are doing me real nasty right now. I love it. I'm loving it. Okay. Oh, prosperity. Cap Listen. Listen to me, Tonita. Listen to me, Tony. Okay? You are doing it. It says, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Listen, not listen. God said, I got you covered, baby. I am dumb proud of you, honey. I was like, my whole prayer is me saying how I was proud of you. No way, no shape, nor how did I know that these cards was going to come out like this. I did not know, like, I am, listen, y'all gonna make me cry, like, I'm serious, y'all gonna make me cry, y'all gonna make me cry, like, this shit is, like, I, I don't even wanna go no further, like, y'all are just, y'all are doing me right now, y'all are, oh, and then the magician, come the fuck on, come on, come on, the magician, like, y'all have stepped into y'all damn power. And I told y'all, y'all spiritual guys, y'all spiritual guys have come through. And it's like showing you how to use your power to manifest this prosperity, these blessings, these miracles into your life. Baby, look at this. Seven. Oh, and in the hierophant. Get the God. I, Oh, my God. I cannot. Y'all got me turned up to the fucking max. The seven of water. You got so many blessed options. I don't, listen, I don't see no fucking ghosts, goblins, devils, or uh, bad things here. This is the good tarot deck. All, the, the, what they say, there's more than one fish in the sea. Baby, you have options right now. Options in finance and career. Okay, in business advancement and your emotional fulfillment, I don't even think you're not even looking no more in regards to you're not looking anymore in regards to love. Like it is, it, you got it. So, this right here has to do with your prosperity. This has to do with your prosperity. You have so many options right now, you're damn near confused. You're just like, man, I don't even know. I got to sit back and think of exactly what I want to do. Look, the Hierophant. You have got that spiritual anointment. Like, you have been getting the training. I told you with the magician. I told I told y'all. Your spiritual guides is like, listen. Listen to me. Continue your work. As long as you follow these guidelines. And you stay within these parameters. Whatever your heart's desire, I will give it to you abundantly. The waterfall runs over her. Over you will be overfilled. You just can't do like I feel like in the past, like in the past, Capricorn was just doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do, being a rebel and just trying to live life in their own way. And like God said, listen, I know your heart. You are better than this. I just need you to take a little bit of faith and take a risk on me. Take a risk on me. You know? Just because the devil represents the Capricorn in, in tarot, that don't mean you got to be like that. That don't mean that you got to be bound and tied to that negative, you know, that negative Notation of what people think you are. Let me show you better. Let me show you better. Let me give you the power. Listen. You got the fool right here. And then you got the number one. <laughs> and then you got the number five. But the hierophant creating change, baby. And that's, and that's also representing the marriage card. Like y'all about to get married. I definitely, let's get married. Come on. Whew, Lord Jesus. Let's see what we got going on in love, honey bunch. 
this right here the new beginning card it says new a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately meet me at the altar in your white dress we ain't getting no younger we might as well do it feel you over why girl i must confess I just want to get married, I just want to get married, maybe at the altar in your white dress, come on, Woo! it says my beloved, though we may physically be apart, spiritually we are always united, but love transcends space and time, nothing is missed, honey, and you see this man hugging up on his lip. Throughout that time that Capricorn was out sewing their royal oats, doing all this wild shit. I'm trying to tell y'all whoever this girl is. Whoever this girl is, she knew. She knew. Number one, I'm not accepting that shit. So while you was doing that bullshit, I ain't want you anyway. You know? But what is mine will always come back to me. She ain't wait for you. She was out doing whatever she wanted to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Filling her needs. Filling herself up spiritually. And she said, you know what? When he get his shit together, I'll be there with open arms. But not until he's ready. <laughs> Oh, my gracious. A message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Baby, do you see Capricorn talking to you? You. Yes, you. 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 Let me try to tell you something, baby. <laughs> oh... My freaking God. Let me tell you something. Baby. Y'all just did me over. Let me get let me get a number. Give me a number. Give me a number. And we about to here. I can't take no more. I can't take no more. What is this? Healing. Healing. Listen, when you take the time and you invest in yourself. You know, and you get that spiritual guidance from that hierophant, and then you take the faith. You jump out on faith. You take a risk. And trying to work on, do that inner work and healing yourself where you can speak your truth. Because listen, I told you, you speak of your truth, baby. You speak of your truth. You speak of your truth. It says, ooh, follow your dreams. Oh, baby, miracles, miracles, <laughs> miracles. This is nothing short of a miracle. Because these motherfuckers thought you was not going to be able to pull those ten of wands over there. Baby, study long, study wrong. Don't ever sleep on a motherfucking Capricorn or what a Capricorn can or can't do, baby. Your fears are not my reality, okay? Are not my reality. Compassion. Anybody that know the cat lady, y'all know the Capricorns that I know. <laughs> Capricorns can be some assholes when they want to. But honey, you see these nine nines? Oh baby, that's completion. That's completion. Doubled up with compassion. And one thing that you know about Capricorns, when they love you, they love you and they will give you the world. Listen, listen, look, look. <laughs> Y'all know what just came into my mind? Share my world. Don't you leave. Promise I'll be here. So baby, don't you have no fear. Share my world. Don't you leave. Promise I'll be here. So baby, don't you have no fear. <laughs> Capricorn. Uh, I want to say y'all did this motherfucker. 
Y'all did this motherfucker. Tell them hating ass bitches that I want you to change. I ain't believe that you could change. Suck my cockiness, lick my persuasion. Please swallow your words and simmer down that pride. It ain't my pride, okay? It's yours. I love it, I love it, I love it when you eat it. Capricorn gonna love when y'all eat y'all words. Keep doubting me. You doubting me is just showing a reflection of your own insecurities. It don't got nothing to do with what's on this table. What you see on this table is nothing short of a miracle. And when you believe in yourself and you are really dedicated to change and completion of that inner work, and healing yourself. Capricorn knew what they needed to do. They knew what they needed to do. They done stepped into their power. <laughs> it's their hour. Capricorn, I'm the fuck out of here. Y'all did me today. I love you. Hit that like button, bitch. Peace.